Okay, uh, first of all, glory to God and Merry Christmas um, to everyone out there. Happy holidays. Uh, tough game, tough game. Gritty performance by our, by our guys. Um, they hung in there. Uh, we knew it was going to be tough coming out here and uh, give credit to the Chargers. They were, they were ready to play. And uh, our guys stuck with it. Good to see uh, James break 1,000 yards. I think first time by one of our backs since 2017. When Shady got it, uh, Ed Oliver, two sacks. The last one was huge, obviously, for us, running the clock down, and five sacks overall that were all big for us and, and big moments of the game. And um, and then Josh, the, the play to, to Shakir, the third down on the game-winning drive. I know it's Josh's, I think, 18th game-winning drive, so just incredible, uh, incredible accomplishment and um, just overall resilient win. So proud of the guys, and uh, the time's yours. Little piece of you glad they wiped out the Shakir. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, those we've been in those this year where um, you're defending a field goal and it's two minute, but it's not really two minute. I'm saying if had had Shakir not had Shakir uh, been ruled a touchdown, it would have been you know defending a little bit more obviously than the field goal. But um, it's two minute, but it's not two minute, right? Because there's potentially a timeout left at that point, and and um, so, but everything happens for a reason. Coach, I know the offense finishes it with that drive and Tyler kicks it, but the <coughs> defense had more than the lion's share of the load tonight with short fields, turnovers to defend. Yeah. Um, they, they keep them out of the end zone on the last five drives of the game, including two short fields, just the job by your defensive unit. Too. Yeah. Um, the, the turnovers, we got to continue to work on that and get that cleaned up. You can't turn the ball over three times. and. I mean, just the numbers, it, it's hard to win um, when you do that, and especially when the turnover differential is three to zero, um, minus three in this case. So uh, we got to do a better job with that overall as a team, taking the ball away on defense and special teams, and then to, <coughs> excuse me, and then protecting the football better uh, on offense and special teams there. So um, yeah, they, you know, we were, they were doing some things that they hadn't shown. Um, you know, obviously um, they came in well prepared and, um, you know, I thought our guys settled in and, and responded and responded. And uh, I think, you know, we did a good job in the red zone, third down as well, and, and had some big plays on those third downs as well to help us out. Yeah, Ed Oliver comes up with a huge play. He just always seems to put himself in that position late in the game. Yeah. His performance, what, what would you think of his play? Yeah, I mean, to... You know, I, I didn't. I didn't think we were rushing well on early downs. I think they were doing a good job of getting their hands on us early, and then. Um, but when we when we needed it, some critical third downs, we had some big time sacks. Ed had two of them. Obviously, the last one was huge, just to burn so much time off the clock, because um, it really put them in a, you know, pretty much a. Um, they could only do one or two things right there. So when, but when they have a little bit more time left, or if that's an incomplete, and they can still do some things, and they got a really good field goal kicker. So really, we only had about 20, 25 yards to to play with right there and give because he's hit one from I think 55 already. Um, he's probably good from 60, 60 plus from from a from a game winning standpoint. So um, just real proud of the guys. That touchdown to Gabe really seemed to jumpstart the offense. I think he finished the season high in yards. Just what stood out to you about his play tonight? Well, you know, when you when you do things the right way and and um, you keep it about the team, which Gabe has, he hasn't had the touches called over the last couple of weeks, but he's blocked well. He's been in the right spots, and um, he just stayed with it. And, and, and the ball finds you when you do things the right way, and I'm extremely proud of him for it. It's it's uh, it's a credit to him. It's a credit to his. <clears throat> Excuse me. His uh, his his week to week approach. Is that something where you have to maybe have conversations with him in, in those weeks where he's not getting the ball, just to stay with it, or is um, that something where he knows and, and you know that he knows that? Yeah, I mean, I think a little for any wide receiver, it's hey, just you know, touch points, like just hey, man, we good, and and just keep doing what you're doing. The ball will find you, and um, it it gets hard for those guys. Uh, they're human, and and they want the ball, they want to produce and and factor into the wins, and um, but I think just overall that. Um, again, his unselfish nature is is much appreciated. For Tyler to come through there, I know it was a shorter field goal, but he still got to make it. Yeah. So, well, how good was that for you? Say? Yeah, real good. I mean, the execution you, you can never take those for, for granted, right? From the snap to the hold, Reed and Sam and, and Tyler take so much pride in in that and in their work, and um, they execute at a very high level. So good to see those guys and and the confidence that comes with that. Why 
why uh, squib it at the end? Uh, just trying to burn more time off the clock and um, trying to get it all the way through. It came up just short of getting all the way through, but ideally you can get it all the way through. But I um, wanted to take as much time off the clock as we could, again, because you know where they got it, I think, it was, we had, like, like I said, about 20, 25 yards. Um, and um, they've got a good field goal kicker. So. You were asked about that earlier. You never quite know how a guy is going to respond when he gets a contract. It seems like he has responded in exactly the way that you would hope for. Absolutely, absolutely, and it's sometimes it's it's um, you think you think you know most players hold this and it's but you it's it's just unique to the to the individual and Ed has gone the other way like he's taken it and these are my words but he's taken it like hey I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how how much um how grateful I am for it and I'm gonna I'm gonna play up to the up to the um, to that level and uh, that just really says a lot about who he is as a person and how much pride he takes in his in his work and the job he does with Steph um, early in the game got banged up I think it was on the yeah. first or second play was there any residuals of that throughout the game it seemed like he was kind of not out there a couple yeah times. not not that I'm aware of I haven't um, haven't discussed that with Nate um, not that I'm aware of um, but I understand yeah he was he was in and out maybe more than normal with that being said Josh goes to him twice on that last run actually yeah. maybe even three times he catches it Josh said, he said, hey, I'm going to go to 14 at the end of the game, period, yeah. point blank. But yeah, and then that final drive when you're watching them work their way down the field, how good does it have? 17 and 14 on your side. Well, that's big. I mean, those two have a lot of trust and confidence in one another, and Josh knows where Steph's going to be um, most of the time. And I thought that the, the, uh, that Joe Brady did a great job. We had some open receivers on, on, that, on, that, on that drive right there. And I think it started with Dawson early on there, and then um, and then Steph, and then and then Shakir as well. So um, just some some great plays. You got to have the protection to get it done, and, and the O line did a good job. Well, the balance on offense was <coughs> I mean, one, but I mean he only threw 21 times tonight, not taking the sack, kicked mm -hmm. the sack out of it, and you ran it like 30. Is that ideal to have Josh, you know, not be a bigger part of it than Josh? No, I mean it's it's um, it's just the feel that Joe has for the game, really more than anything, and and um, um, you know so uh, I just think that we'll we'll go back and evaluate the film, and maybe maybe there were some more opportunities for us to to to, uh, to go to the air with it. Um, I know Joe will do, Joe will do that, and um, we'll continue to try and get better every week. James fumbled a couple of times; he lost one. Deontay lost one on a punt return, but you stuck with them uh, both. Deontay was back out there, and then James yeah. got, got the ball again. Why? You know, we've seen in the past sometimes maybe, you know, they take a series or two off after yeah. that happens, but that didn't happen tonight. What, why? Why? Well, I have confidence in those in those guys to begin with, and, and then second secondly, I would say it's, um, you know, it's, it's late in the year at this point, right? Early in the year, or you're new, and uh, bless you, and, you know, I, you need to be... Um, um, learn a lesson, then maybe yeah. But in this case, um, Deontay's filled a lot of puns, carried the ball a lot, so has James. I have confidence in those guys, and we're at the point in the season where you put the, your best players out there. Your defense. Sean, with wins in four out of the past five, considering you were five and five at the midway point, how good is it to at the end of the week you could you guys could be in a playoff spot? I mean, I know there's two games left. Right? Yeah, I'm just uh, extremely grateful. Um, the guys have done a heck of a job. Uh, we are blessed in so many ways. Um, um, you know, just uh, you know, ownership number one. They've been extremely supportive of, of for years of what we've done and, and how we've tried to do things, and um, supportive of the players. Um, and so, uh, we'll see where things go. Uh, we'll just continue to take it one week at a time. You look at the Chargers film from their previous game, and it's a travesty. And why was today such a tough one for you? Well, it's the NFL. <laughs> it is. It's the NFL. And, um, you know, obviously they made some moves and uh, that are part of the business of the NFL. And um, players usually respond when, when those moves are made. And um, as hard as that is, um, um, you know, our coach uh, Giff, he, he's well respected around the league and knowing of him. For a number of years uh, in this profession, he's—I figured he would get a response out of the players and, and the team, and he did. And um, you know, so we didn't come out here thinking anything other than that. Quite honestly, the way that the game went, um, and they played ten days ago or whatever it was. Most teams in the NFL, if not all teams, would respond just on that alone. 
uh, let alone the coaching change. With the luxury of a Saturday game, the <coughs> slate of games coming up tomorrow, how closely will you kind of watch what goes on with the teams that are kind of in that log jam there in the playoff standings? Um, yeah, we'll be paying attention to it. I mean, it's I'm just looking forward to get a little bit of rest. It's been a short week for us, and then traveling out west here and um, get the guys some rest themselves and enjoy Christmas and, and um, get ourselves ready for the Patriots here. You guys are un uncharacteristic to turn it over three times like this. When Jay puts it on the turf in the fourth quarter, do you take the defense aside at all and give them any extra message? Did you sense anything about their resolve in that moment? Well, we try, we try to. Uh, the, answer, the, qu the quick answer is no. The, the, what we try and do, if you have time, but you don't always have time because you're not sure if it's a t going to a TV timeout in the fourth quarter. Um, they didn't have as many this week in this week's game, um, I guess, due to time. But uh, you try to give, give them a short message before they go take the field. And uh, usually Bobby Babich, one of our defensive coaches, ra you know, rounds them up and, and uh, gives them a quick you know, uh, encouraging mes message there. And you know, I think to come, come away from those drives with either three uh, or no points was huge for us. Merry Christmas. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas.